Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, now let us discuss short run equilibrium of a monopoly firm when firm faces a positive cost of production. This can be studied with the two approaches. One is TRTC approach, another one is MR and MC approach. This is important. TRTC approach is important for six marks. And we will be discussing this TRTC approach. As already I told, a monopolist facing positive cost of production rather than the zero cost of production under short run. This can be studied with the help of two methods or two approaches. One is total revenue and total cost approach. Another one is marginal revenue and marginal cost approach. Now what says this TRTC approach? A monopoly firm reaches uh, equilibrium position at that point where the difference between TR and TC is maximum. A firm reaches equilibrium at that level of output where the difference between TR and TC is maximum. A firm should be in a positive profit zone and you have to select that quantity for which the difference between TRTC is maximum. TRTC difference is nothing but a, a profit. That, may, that means a firm reaches equilibrium position at that level of output where it can maximize its profit. A firm can maximize its profit where the difference between TR and TC is maximum. Here you can see TRTC approach explains that a monopoly firm maximizes its, its profit at that level of output where the difference between TR and TC is maximum. How will you calculate profit? Profit you can calculate TR minus TC gives a profit. This can be understood with the help of a diagram. Now let us discuss with the help of a diagram. Dear students, you can see the diagram here. On x-axis, we have taken output and on y-axis, we have taken revenue, profit and cost. You can see TR curve, it increases, later it becomes a maximum and starts decreasing. For monopoly form, TR increases at a decreasing rate and reaches maximum, later it starts decreasing when MR becomes negative, TR starts decreasing. And you can see the total cost. Total cost also increases as output increases. That means both the TR and TC will varies according to the level of output. You can see here the TR and TC is mag equal. The TR and TC is equal for the quantities Q2 and Q3. I can say here at Q2, Q3, TR is equal to TC. That means you can see this is the profit line and this profit line touches x-axis at Q2 and Q3 and indicates that profit will be 0 as TR is equal to TC. Less than Q2 and more than Q3, foam is not going to produce anything. Why foam is not going to produce anything? Because less than Q2 and more than Q3, you can observe total cost. The cost of production is more, but revenue is less. So when cost is greater than, that means total cost is greater than total revenue means a firm is going to incur loss. Correct, McLean? So because of this reason, the firm is not going to choose any output less than Q2 and more than Q3. If you consider Q1 quantity, at that level, the difference between TR and TC, that means TR is more, TC is less, that means a positive profit is there. So the difference between TR and TC is shown by AB, the the height of AB or the length of AB shows the profit at Q1 level of output. This profit will vary as level of output varies. 
For example, if quantity is produce Q4, then the difference between TR and TC will varies. If we compare AB, the difference between the TR and TC at Q4 is A dash B dash. So the length of A dash B dash is greater than the length of AB. That means it will be keep on varying. It will be keep on varying as level of output varies. Then the firm has to choose that level of output where the difference between TR and TC is maximum. You can see the, uh, the slope or you can observe the profit line. The profit line shows that our profit is the difference between TR and TC. When TC is more than TR, that means when it is incurring loss, this profit line is in the negative zone. As the TR TC is equal, then the profit is zero. And as the difference between the TR and TC is positive from Q2 quantity to Q3, the profit line is positive. And at Q0, you can observe at Q0, the profit is maximum. You can see profit is maximum. That means at Q0, the difference between a TR and TC is maximum. So firm reaches equilibrium at that level of output where the difference between TR and TC is maximum. For a monopoly firm, which faces a positive cost of production reaches equilibrium at Q0 according to this diagram. Dear students, now let us understand how to write explanation for a diagram. You can see in the diagram on x-axis output and on y-axis revenue, profit and cost are measured. In the diagram, you can see that if quantity Q1 is produced, the TR is the total revenue, TC is the total cost. The profit is equal to TR1 minus TC1 and AB which depicts the profit at Q1 quantity. The vertical length AB will change according to the level of quantity sold. Less than Q2 and more than Q3 level of output, TC is more than, cost is more than the revenue. So firm will not produce anything as it incurs loss. The firm can make a positive output between Q2 and Q3 level of output where TR is greater than TC. Monopoly firm will choose that level of output for which a vertical distance between TR and TC is maximum. This occurs at that level of, that is it occurs at Q0 level of output. So firm is going to fix the price and it has to fix that price at which Q0 quantity can be sold. That means it is going to fix that level of price at which a consumers are ready to buy Q0 level of output. So monopoly will ch charge the price corresponding to the quantity level Q0 on the demand curve. Dear students, as I told, it is important for six marks. You can see here along with the diagram, I have given introduction and meaning for TRTC approach, then diagrammatic explanation. If you write this much, easily you can get six on six. But you should be very careful while you are drawing a diagram. Okay, uh, observe the shapes of TR and TC and look at where the TR and TC is maximum and draw the profit line properly. At Q2, Q3, it has to cut x-axis as profit will be zero. And less than Q2, more than Q3, it has to be in the negative zone. Observe properly and write and get a good marks. This is also scoring question and you can get a six on six. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.